hi in this tutorial we will work uh, on more realistic uh, connections so let's go so here you you can see uh, all the contacts are bonded here so what we are going to do first we are going to see this one so we are going to change this bonded bonded to so you can see here there are five contacts uh, type are there bonded no separation frictionless rough and frictional so these bonded and no separation is linear and other three are non-linear so in case of this one uh, due to some pretension and other uh, steam pressure there may be chances of like little bit tilt of this surface uh, the, this side so here we are going to put frictionless and also behavior we are going to put here asymmetric for this contact second one that is okay third one yes third one is this contact so here you can see the diameter of the hole is more than the, this uh, bolt so there will be gap will be there so here also we are going to put uh, this uh, bonded to frictionless and Hmm. If you see here, so there will be sliding motion in between this uh, surface and this surface, but it will be at uh, like it will be, uh, motion will be very less uh, here. So here also we are going to put. Uh, bonded to frictionless and everything is okay so earlier you have seen that time this it was taking full surface but in a space claim we have made some beer area so now it will take only this area uh, this uh, I have done in uh, previous tutorial if you want to watch you can see Mm, this is also okay. Because there is no gap in between this nut and bolt. So here we will keep it as bonded. Now we are going to generate initial contact results. So here you can see there are two two contact contacts are there that are open. This one geometry gap is also given, but the contact status is open. Where this may be acceptable, so it can work. So what now we are going to do? We are going to put uh, other bolt connection here. Like first one is uh, whatever is there, we can keep that one and uh, can put uh, connection between like this one, uh, nut and bolt, whatever is there. Like that, we can put connection. And uh, other one is there. Uh, we have uh, 
extracted this uh, beam we have extracted this uh, beam in a space claim so here we are going to give connection bolt connection here so what we will do here insert manual contact so contact select vertex to this one apply target target we can select uh, to this surface apply and here formulas in formulation we are going to put mpc and then pin wall region we, we we are going to give radius so that is 9 mm next we are going to duplicate it and going to change vertex to this apply face face to this apply and uh, radius to 6 mm uh, that is also one way for creating contacts and another way is through using that beam connector so insert go to beam so here bot we will do material material we are going to decide if you see this bolt material is 6150 so same we are going to decide material radius how much radius we want that is if you see that geometric profile that is 2.6998 so we are going to put here 2.7 mm and uh, scope first we are going to decide this surface apply and another this one apply next one is like if number of uh, holes are there then how we can uh, keep uh, how we can put that uh, same connection to every hole so what we are going to do we are going to create name based selection here create nut and here bolt animation now we are going to object generator so reference not bolt head and this uh, is uh, the length of this uh, was 11.8 if you go to 
go to this for uh, first uh, whatever we have created that there they have given like 11.803 you can see here this one so minimum we are taking 11 and uh, that we are taking 12 mm generate so you can see it has been generated there so if a number of holes are there then you same you can use same method okay thank you